Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review video on the Atom Audio T7Vs, so spin that three second intro animation. A few weeks ago, Atom Audio sent me a pair of the T7Vs to check out, review, test, do all the fun stuff with them, and this is a review of that. If you are new here, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, it really helps a ton, it helps the channel grow, and it also lets me reach out to cool companies like Atom Audio, and then they send me some fun stuff to review and play with. So thank you so much for being a part of the growth of the channel. Also check out the description below, that's where you'll find my music, my website, my Instagram, things like that. So please check that out as well. All right, now for the reason you're probably here, the review of the T7Vs. If you have seen my unboxing video of the Atom Audio T7Vs, you will see that I really enjoyed unboxing them. They're a beautiful Studio Mar County first lay eyes on them. It's it's fantastic, they're just, they're, they're gorgeous. And you can tell right off the bat that the build quality is on par or above for the price range. And one of these speakers new is $249.99, so basically 250 bucks. So you can pick up a pair of the Atom Audio T7Vs for around $500. Another thing I noticed about these is they actually, the real estate on them is, is relatively smaller than expected. They don't take up a ton of space, which is not a bad thing. And actually I think it's a good thing when it comes to the market that these are targeted for. These are targeted for, you know, maybe intro level people who are getting serious about their craft with mixing and mastering and recording and writing. It's like a lot of people in that demo are probably, you know, using a bedroom in their apartment or house to do all of their uh, tracking and recording and mixing. So if space is limited, these are already a step up. You can fit them on desks, you can fit them on stands and tuck them somewhere. That was a very nice thing to notice right off the bat is how small they are. And when I say small, I mean not small, they're just, they're, 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 you can handle them easy and you can put them where you need them in your space that is potentially limited. And as the review goes along, uh, me talking about how small they are, that seems to not affect how, how, how they sound. I'll tell you about how they sound shortly. Another thing about how uh, the real estate size of them being smaller is great, because let's say you're wanting to uh, take them on the road or across town and use them on a mobile setup. These, I think, would be a great option for that. Or maybe you're a video editor like myself who work in marketing and you want a nice set of monitors to be able to hear what your, your post-production sounds like. The Atom Audio T7Vs could be a great fit for that. All right, so back to the price for a second. They're about $250 each, putting them at $500 for a pair. That puts them in the range of some of the HS series Yamahas and some of the uh, KRK Rockets. Um, those are great monitors. This one, I feel, is maybe a step above those, but I feel like once I got them plugged in and was listening to them, I felt like I could trust them right away. They didn't sound overly colorful, which is what you want in a studio monitor. You want them to tell you the truth. You don't want them to lie to you like, oh, this sounds great right off the bat, no need to mix or anything. You want to be able to hear all the detail and you want the speakers to tell you what you're doing wrong and how to fix it. And that's something I was very surprised by with these being, you know, $500 for a pair. I was expecting them to have some, you know, too much coloration, kind of just like a fancy studio monitor to have, show off to your friends. But right off the bat, I could tell these are a pair of studio monitors I could trust if I had to start mixing on them right away. And the other studio monitors that I was super familiar with for a long time that I could compare them to was my old BX 8As. Granted, that had an eight inch woofer, uh, these have a seven inch, but kind of along the same lines, especially when you think of the price. And I enjoy a lot of what M Audio makes and puts out their products, but these speakers, the Atom Audio T7Vs and the M Audio BX 8As are night and day. The Atom Audio T7Vs below the M Audios out of the water. Not even close. For the same price, it was, I mean, I can't even begin to explain how night and day they were. These T7Vs sounded closer to the focal alphas that I have that are, you know, are more expensive. And so that's where I was really surprised by the price point and the quality was just, it didn't compute how good they sounded for the price. And I actually had a few friends reach out to me on Instagram saying, hey, I've got some Atom Audio stuff. They're fantastic. You're gonna love testing these speakers out. And they were absolutely correct. So that's the verdict on sound. They sound really good for the price point. I don't think you can beat that, period. They sound great. I mean, the seven inch woofer sounds just punchy and full. And then you have the 1.9 inch uh, UART tweeter. And the highs on that are so smooth and, and creamy and not harsh. Those were, to me, kind of the standout piece of the T7Vs. The tweeter and the highs were so smooth. And again, this is from a $250 studio monitor, active studio monitor. And the tweeter is a 20 watt uh, class D amp and then the woofer comes with a 50 watt class D amp. So 70 watts total. So on the back of the monitors, you have a boost and a cut for the high and low. 
For the low, you can go minus two, zero, or plus two, and that is at 300 hertz. On the high side, you have the same thing, plus two, zero, or minus two, and that kicks in at 5,000 hertz. And for my room, I actually boosted both to plus two, and it was just the right amount. It wasn't overkill, which I like. I like when the, the, the manufacturer doesn't let you butcher the sound. They let you shape it just a tiny bit to where it should work. You know, it's just like getting someone's car. You check out their EQ on their stereo and the bass is cranked and the treble is cranked and it's just kind of, it's, it mutilates the sound. But studio monitors, you want them to sound true. So the fact that they only let you boost it 2 dB or cut 2 dB, I like that a lot. So in my room, I flipped them both up to plus 2 dB high and low boost and they sounded fantastic. But they sounded extra fantastic when I brought in my sub, which is a 10 inch Presonus T10. And Atom Audio actually has a 10 inch sub that they recommend pairing with the T7Bs. But don't let the fact that they sound better with a sub scare you away because if you're rocking in an apartment or a, a bedroom in a house where maybe you have other people to keep, you know, in consideration of running music loud, these with the two, the plus two dB boost on the low end, you'll be fine. Like I kind of said in the beginning, the clarity on them is fantastic. You can hear a lot of detail. They sound great. Like I said, they sound great for the price. I cannot believe it. If I were to do a blind sound test and tell you how much I think these speakers would cost, I would put them at least $50 to $100 more each. So I would say these would probably cost anywhere from $300 to $400, but the fact that they only cost $250, that to me is quite a steal. Cause you can take that $100 savings or something like that and put it towards other equipment that you need, maybe some soundproofing or some quality stands, or save that money and you know put it towards the uh, Atom Audio sub and pair with these. So what is my verdict on the Atom Audio T7Vs? Well, it's pretty clear to me that you should just go out and buy them. These things punch way above their price. And if you are someone who is maybe just getting into mixing and recording, or you're starting to take it much more serious and you want to maybe upgrade something that you have, I would recommend these. These will take a long time for you to grow out of them. And I think it's also important to remember that, you know, when you're mixing and recording and writing, knowing your, your studio monitors is arguably the most important part. You can spend a ton of money on, you know, really nice monitors, but in the end, you can still make your mix sound like trash. It's getting to know the studio monitors that you use and, you know, how to mix on them. So should you buy them? Yes, why? Because they sound great and they're incredibly affordable. So what are you waiting for? If you're here to watch the review video and figure out if you wanna buy those or not, go buy them. And this is just my personal opinion. I'm not getting a cut from any of this. This is just how I feel and what I experienced when using them for the last couple of weeks. So shout out to Adam Audio for sending me these. Uh, thank you so, so much. They were a blast to play with and Adam Audio has got some rad intro level studio monitors. All right, if you have any questions, please comment below. Again, like this video, subscribe to the channel. It helps me a ton so more rad companies can send me cool stuff for me to play with. I'll also add a link in the description below to take you to Adam Audio's website where you can do more of a deep dive on the specs of these speakers. And until next time, see you later.